County School Board member returns to the dais for the very first time since a racial slur scandal became public. Ann Murray apologized again today, but some in the community feel that apology is not enough and that she's not fit to serve. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live for us at the school board with what Murray had to say in her defense. Lori and Calvin, Ann Murray was visibly embarrassed by her own words. All of this happened before she was elected to the Broward County School Board, and today she tells me that she believes she should keep her school board seat. I don't think I'm a bigot. I know I'm not a bigot. I'm not uh, a racist either. Ann Murray, the vice chair of the Broward County School Board, is apologetic yet defiant over the controversy surrounding a racial slur she used while in the company of several co-workers. It's a word that was never allowed in my house, so I, I can't explain it. Was it a term that you normally use? No, no. That's the whole thing. Murray received a written reprimand after those workers complained. According to her file, she said, Do you remember when a group of us from transportation came down to watch a Bills game? Yeah, they had us up in inward heaven. That slur was uttered four years ago, Super Bowl Sunday. Back then, Ann Murray was a transportation supervisor for Broward Schools, working a detail not far from the stadium. But this incident didn't come to light until recently. I don't think it's a cloud, a cloud over the district. She indicated that she apologized, so we'll accept that. That been five years ago, and we're going to go on and move in the direction that we need to move. Groups like the NAACP and the Broward Democratic Black Caucus want that direction to be without Murray in a school board seat. I rise to demand the immediate resignation of school board member Ann Murray. As an elected official, using a word or like that, should you stay in office? Like I said, I'm a, I have human frailties. I said something that I apologize for. I've asked for closure on this. I don't think this will uh, change my course of what I was elected for. And no one ever checked Ann Murray's file here at the school board when she was running for that seat back in 2008. That's how this was able to fly under the radar for so long. But now the NAACP is now mounting an effort against Ann Murray. They are still in the fact-gathering stage. So, Calvin, this is an issue that is not going away anytime soon. Terrell Forney, live for us in Fort Lauderdale. Terrell, thanks a lot. Three Lauderdale.